WhatsApp has a plurality share of the global messaging market, and it's responsible for Greemer's delay in editing this very video. It's also a powerful way for business owners to connect with potential customers, sales leads, support requests. And in this video, we'll embed a WhatsApp chat widget directly into our Webflow project using ElfSight. How? We'll create the actual widget in ElfSight, then we'll copy that code, we'll put that code into Webflow, and publish and test our work. This will go very quickly. So let's get started in ElfSight. This is not ElfSight. It's apple.com from the year 2000. Now we'll go into Elf site. If you haven't already created an account, now is the time to do that. Greemer is creating one for us right now. Huh? Once we're logged in, this is our applications panel. And what we're looking for here is the WhatsApp chat widget. We can use search right here. Let's select WhatsApp. And this is it. This is our WhatsApp widget. There are some templates to the left that can get us up and running. For our example, we're using the sale template, but of course you can choose whatever works best for you. Let's continue. And this is where we have four things to configure. Before we do, let's add our phone number. This needs to be the number associated with your WhatsApp account. Now, if you want, you can leave the rest of this exactly how it is, but you probably don't want to do that. So let's go in to configure the chat bubble. We can choose exactly what chat bubble icon we want. We can go back and add some text to it, or we can not do that. That's the first thing. The second thing is the chat header. This is a picture of a man. Which man? Well, we reverse image searched on Google Images and we're still researching. What about the third part, the welcome message? This is the preset message that will appear right away when someone opens up the chat widget. And finally, we have the button itself. We can change this to say whatever we want it to say. And we can toggle the WhatsApp Messenger icon. Okay, let's go back. So many more options here. We have settings to choose from, but what we really want to do for this example is style our colors. So let's head over and do that. To more closely match our design, let's change the button color. Once we do, that's it. We go over, we save our changes. The next thing we're prompted to do, this is moving from part one to part two, by the way. All we have to do is press copy. That's part two, which, and we timed this to confirm, was a much shorter duration than part one. Part three, let's go to our Webflow project. And if our goal is to have the WhatsApp widget appear on every page, we can go over to our project settings. And of course, once we're there, we can head over to custom code. Now, if you want the widget on every single page, paste it here, save your changes, and of course, publish your site. But what if you don't want it on every page? Maybe you don't want it on your order confirmation page or your privacy policy. Let's remove that for now and instead, go to the page settings on a specific page in our project. Because inside the page settings, we have the same option to paste inside the head tag. But this applies only to the page we're pasting in. In our case, that's the home page. Same as before, let's save. And of course, once we're done saving, let's publish our project. That's part three. Part four, let's test our published page. So what do we expect? We expect this to show up now that we've published. And it does. Now, if it doesn't show up right away, refresh your page. And if that still doesn't work, head on over to ElfSight. And believe it or not, they have their own widget, which lets us contact them. But that's it. We created our widget in ElfSight. We copied the code. We pasted that in Webflow. We published it and tested. And Greemer wrapped up editing this video with his usual professionalism and commitment.